Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. We have a TE error code on our LG washing machine and we're in the troubleshooting process before replacing any parts. In this video, we need to gain access to the heating element and inspect all the connection points and wiring. Let's take a look. Here we are at the washing machine and we need to gain access to the actual heating element and verify that it is not only plugged in and properly secured, we also want to do a thorough inspection of all the wiring that feeds into the actual part and make sure that there is no signs of stress whether it is melted wires or frayed wires. That would not be good. Safety first always cut all electrical power to the actual machine. Next turn off both hot and cold water supply to the house. Because mine is a stackable unit. I have a bracket here, two Phillips screws on the back side. Take those off, remove this bracket. Next we have to shift this whole top back and by doing that on the bottom of Phillips screw right there you only need to remove the bottom Phillips screw. Screws are removed and then you can just shift this back. Notice the gap. Next your detergent door, be careful it might leak a little bit. This little tab here push in and you can pull this detergent door out. There are Phillips screws here that you will remove. After shifting this entire piece back go ahead and remove it completely. With the cap off you can see the entire inside of the actual washing machine and all of its parts. Next thing Phillips screws one and all the way over here. Go ahead and remove those. One last screw in the top left corner here. Go ahead and remove that. Since we are here, go ahead and disconnect these two electrical connection points because we are going to pull this face off. Be careful as you pull this faceplate away, you will maneuver these electrical wires because those come with the faceplate through a hole. Faceplate is now removed and down here you will see additional Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove all five. Hop down to the lower portion of the washer and carefully pinch those, remove that, and you've got a Phillip screw here. Go ahead and remove that. Remove this rubber hose from its mount and pull this plastic casing right out. Next, remove that Phillip screw. Let's go ahead and open up the door. And on the back side of the rubber seal, there is a locking ring. As you can see in there, be careful. You don't want to rip this. If you use pliers to pry this little ring off, do not harm this seal. Make mental note of where the actual spring connection point is. In our case, it's on the lower portion of the ring. Go ahead and remove the seal. Be advised there is a connection point here and just move it inward toward the tub. Next, I want to point out two Phillips screws. These are what secure the door locking mechanism part. And if we just took those off, this part will fall down to the floor on the inner portion. We do not want that. So come up top and that is the door switch locking mechanism unit there. Go ahead and remove that electrical connection point. At this point, the entire face is disconnected and you can slowly rotate it on its lower hinges and pull this whole front face off. With the front face panel completely removed in reference to the washing machine bowl on the bottom side, up under the washing machine bowl, there is our heating element. And from here, you wanna make sure all the electrical connection points are in and secure and your ground wire is secure both on the bolt here and follow it all the way down to the connection point down below make sure it is secured and properly grounded if all that checks out now you want to do a thorough inspection of all the wiring try to locate any signs of stress in the wiring whether it's melted wires frayed wires or any portion of the wire that has been harmed which i'll move my flashlight there is the ground wire connection point on the opposite side and after you complete a very thorough inspection of all the wires, all the connection points, and everything is in good operating condition, it is now time, unfortunately, to focus on the actual heating element itself and replace that heating element altogether. That's it. Hope the video helps. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings. Turn on your YouTube notification bell once you do that. Every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again.